And let's start with the answer you will get from 99.9% .9 of people. The answer you will get is that uh, the best seller rank tells us which products are selling best. By the way, Jack, that, that there, Jack Ryan from Amazon is amazing. Me and Natasha started watching that last night. Freaking amazing, really, really good. Uh, so most folks will just tell you that the best seller badge denotes the number of sales that your product is making on Amazon and therefore the more products you sell, the more likely you are to win the best seller badge. All right, now that is what 99.999% of folks are going to tell you about the best seller badge. However, let's go deeper. Let's think about this in a different way. What the freaking hell is Neil going on about now? All right, so let's suppose that, well, let's play a game. Let's suppose that um, you are sitting at your computer now you are, like you are right now and you have got a problem. The problem is that you want to put out any potential fires that you might find. Okay, I'm going to leave it very, very loosey-goosey, very, very nebulous and you'll see why in a second. So you want to put out any potential fires that you find. What are you going to type into Amazon? What are you going to type into Amazon? You type it in here. What are you going to type in? I'll read them out as they come in, all right? This is the part of the interactive part of the session where you type things in. All right, so Jenny says, oh, Mr. Robson. Jenny says, you're on fire tonight, mate. Jenny says, uh, fire extinguisher. Viv says, fire extinguisher. Tamara says, kids bento lunchbox. Interesting. Uh, Santo says, fire extinguisher. Suzanne says, fire blanket. Good stuff. So we've got our first different thing. Uh, Richard says, how to put fires out. That's a th second, third different thing. Uh, Hayden, fire retardant. Good. Fire extinguisher, fire man. All purpose fire extinguisher. Well done, Bill. Fire person, universal. How to put out fire, uh, portable fire extinguisher, fire hose, fire truck, fire gear. All right, good work, good, good work. All right, so you can see already that even though ostensibly we're all looking for the same thing, in actuality, we're all going to type different things in. Okay, now that is an incredibly important distinction to make about Amazon and it's the thing that most folks don't think through. Most folks do just do not think that through and it's the folks that do that crush it on Amazon because let's just have a look. So we've got fire extinguisher. Now this is a very, very loose interpretation of how to put fire extinguishers out. This is somebody that um, has not gone thought through what they really want the product for. So the fire extinguishers that we see now must be general in nature. They must be general in nature. Okay. Now, here's the first interesting thing to note. Here's your Amazon's Choice badge above or well, above your best seller badge. See, it's even giving me a very, very loose, I've got a couple of different best sellers because I have not clearly defined what I want on for Amazon to know. So it's giving me some interesting things. Do what, how much do I want to spend on this particular product? It's trying to get me to go deeper into what I want. So anybody trying to make a sale from the search term, fire extinguisher needs to make sure their product is going to be looks very, very general in nature and looks like it's fit for purpose for lots of different things, okay? So that's our first thing to consider. However, now let's go a little bit deeper. 
So now I can have a fire extinguisher. What about if I told you, for instance, that the fire extinguisher that I'm looking for, I actually want to put it in my car just in case I ever crash and, uh, and therefore need to put out some crazy ass fires. So fire extinguisher for home, for kitchen, for home use, for boats, for office, for vehicle, for car, for Porsche, for BMW, whatever it may be. Levels of differentiation, levels of differentiation. So where am I going with all this? Well, the best seller badge, what it actually does is it tells us who did the best job. Let's just get rid of the sponsored ones. Who did the best job of making their product the most applicable for that search term? Who did the best job of that? Because that's what Amazon rewards. And by doing that, that's what will ultimately get you the best seller badge. But it's the part before where you think it through that's the, really the most important component of that. Here's something very interesting. Fire extinguisher for home. I'm going to say that's going to be a pretty interesting search term. Let's just have a look at this. Just going to my good friend. Fire extinguisher home, 166,000 searches, okay? 166,000 searches. Uh, however, oops, when did I put that? Here it is. However, look at, so I've got two sponsored, no worries. But then my top one here doesn't even have any reviews. It's a shitty listing with a shitty picture and a shitty, uh, it's crap. It's all round rubbish, <laughs> okay? You could kick that ass, no problem at all. And yet that's ranking in position number one for the search term fire extinguisher for home. There's 166,000 searches a month on Amazon for that, yet the people who are running the ads do not know what they're doing. Do not know what they're doing. Folks tell me that Amazon's very, very competitive and it's just not. It's just not. What Amazon is, is it's very competitive when you do not take the time to research. The very second you take the time to research, you'll quickly see that there is loads of opportunities on Amazon, just like that one. Now, the other interesting thing, which I don't know if you spotted, was you've got to think that fire extinguisher for home, that's going to be a search term that in Australia is also going to be ultimately very, very popular. And yet there's zero keywords. That means there's zero people searching for that currently in Australia. That's an opportunity for somebody to start ranking their product for that keyword in anticipation of the traffic that's sure to come that's sure to come. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.